Good evening, this is Bell Geod, and we are back once more with part four of Skyrim. Okay, so where did we leave off? I think we were in Falkreath, if I remember correctly, and I left Gita sitting on a bench and everybody else was idling. Yep, there we go. Okay, Gita is still sitting on a bench, and somebody's over there using the forge, probably Ali. Okay, so we were doing pieces of the past. We had gotten the blade shards, so we're going to need to take those to Silas, who is in Dawnstar, if I remember correctly. So that is next on the agenda. We should be able to get there pretty quickly. What is this? Oh, this is Find Red Eagle Sword. Yeah, we're not doing that just yet. I'm planning on doing that, but not right now. Alright, so yeah, we gotta bring the blade to Silas, who is in Dawnstar. And, wait, I don't have a marker here. We'll remove the marker from where it is right now. Okay, where are the other pieces? Uh, there's one over by Morthal. And looks like there's another one way on the other side of the map, over by Dead Crone Rock. Crap. Okay, well, this might actually be a really big adventure here. And we are down here. Okay, Crack Tusk Deep is to the uh, west of where we were. Deva Vesa is at home. I'm thinking now is the time to debut the Deva Vesa. So I'm going to put a marker at home and we'll gather up the gang and haul ass for home. I might not carry everyone with me. I might just pick one person to take with and I haven't decided yet who that's going to be. So Ali, Belle, Tanya, stay close. Just my luck. Stuck in the sticks with this crazy old woman. Okay then. Somebody's a disgruntled guard. Hey, you should be thankful, man. At least you don't have an arrow to the knee. Sheesh. Alright, so it should be a pretty brisk jog to the house. It's really not that far from Falkreath, so... This is gonna be pretty short to get there. And then once we get to Devoveza... Um, well, I'll go inside the house and I'll drop off two characters and take one character with me. Because really, I'm thinking that it's kind of overkill having all four of us here. Because I'm hardly getting a shot in edgeways, especially since it takes so long to draw my bow. Oh, probably should watch out for rocks here. Uh, speaking of rocks, there's those boulders again. Guys, do not walk near the boulders. I will not tell you again. The house should be just past the boulders on the left up the hill, I believe. Yeah, because Pine Watch is not far. This whole little trap here is affiliated with Pine Watch, so... Past that, and then past this little area here. I love how everywhere you go, somebody's like put all these rocks on top of each other. It's like, what the hell? Okay, we are going off to the left. Looks like it's the afternoon right now, 4.50. I'm going to try and see if I can get most of my adventuring done during the day. Maybe for dramatic effect we'll do some in the night. Ooh, I hear Nernroot. Mine. Love Nernroot. Never used it for anything, but I love collecting it. Okay, so here we are. Home, sweet home. And there's the Deva Vesa. We'll be on her in a minute. But first, it's time to decide who makes the cut. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, guys. Let's go inside. All righty then. I think I'll take this opportunity to get some water. Jessica, we're home. All right, and I think I've decided. Bell, I've got your back. Yes, I know you do. Unfortunately, you did not make the cut. You got to stay home. I'll head back home if you need me. What the hell are you talking about, man? You're in home. <sighs> All right, Allie. Still here. Uh huh. I'm sure. I'll head back home if you need me. Okay. So that just leaves Miss Tanya. I've got your back. And Tanya, I'm not going to depart without you. You're coming Lead with. Lead on. All right. Let's rock and roll. It's going to be Gita and Tanya's adventure for a little while here. All right. Now. Let's get on the airship and see if we can take it to Dawnstar. Before night falls, at least. 
Okay, so the ladder is conveniently over here. And we'll go ahead and hop on. Oh, look at that. There's elk all over the place. Nice. I gotta remember to hunt that later because I still need to build some stuff in the house that requires elk. Alrighty, Tanya. You hang out here on the deck. Let me know if you see any dragons. We'll use cannons. That hatch, by the way, is how we get into the Deva Bays. I'll show you that a little bit later. But for now, let us be off. This is how we activate. So, we're gonna clicky clicky after we check the map and see which way we're facing. Okay, so we're facing the wrong way. We're gonna need to turn around and head this way. Oh, wait, no, no, wait. What am I doing? I don't wanna go to Morthal. I wanna go to Dawnstar. Okay, so we'll place the marker there. There we go. Marker on Dawnstar. We'll go to Morthal after we go to Dawnstar. We'll hit it on the way back. Alright, no time like the present. Let me show you what this sucker can do. There we go. We are enabled. It even has a light that turns on every time you start piloting a ship. This is pretty much the view. Like, it doesn't get any closer than this. Seriously, it doesn't get any closer than this. Um, you can also set this thing up to where you can move your character around while the ship is moving, but I don't recommend it because it's a little bit squirrely. Alright, uh, let's see if I remember how to pilot this thing. Why is it so jerky? That's not right. Something's not right here. What the... Script latency error. Oh, uh, that's a first. That's never happened before. Hmm. Okay, well, um, maybe it's because we've got Tanya on deck. What the hell just happened there? Okay, that must be the reset point. Alright, let's go inside. And Tanya should automatically follow me, so I will dump her off inside. She should actually be safe in there, because it's just like a player house. So she's not going to go anywhere. She'll be there no matter where I take this airship. So Tanya... I'm right behind you. Uh, yes, I know you're right behind you. We're going to stay here for a while. So you can just stay here. Okay? You go on ahead. Alright, thank you. Now let me go back upstairs. I've got your back. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do Lead that. On. What the hell? Tanya, you're blocking my way. Can you move away from the ladder, please? Thank right you. Okay, I'm going out. Sheesh. Followers. Well, at least it's not Lydia. We left her back in Whiterun. We might run into her at some point in time. Alright, now that should fix the issue because they don't have to worry about moving Tanya with the airship, so... Gita can actually get this done. So here we go. Activate Dev Aveza Part 2. Alright. I hate that you have to reset the camera though. Hopefully they'll make some more tweaks to this thing. But so far it's pretty damn good. Okay, so we want to go up over the trees. Gain some altitude first. And then we will go ahead and turn around and head towards Dawnstar. So it looks pretty cool up here, doesn't it? absolutely beautiful. I love this. Best thing ever created for Skyrim, I'm telling you right now. Alright, so we need to rotate about 180 degrees. I think we're going to go north of the lake here. Ah, oh, what the hell? Again? <sighs> Alright, uh, can I move? Uh, maybe I can activate it again. No! Instead, it's going to put me back in the center of the deck. Lovely. All right, Gita, back to the wheelhouse we go. <sighs> this is going to be a long trip. Okay, here we go. Part three, and we are off. I believe we were rotating around 180 degrees thereabouts. So, let's go ahead and do that. Look how picturesque that is, though. You can't tell me that this is not the most beautiful that Skyrim looks when you're flying by airship. This is just perfect. There's no other way to describe it. Alright, so there's the lake with Inalt Inalta's Deep or whatever the hell it's called. Just to the north. Oh, not again! And now I've got two steering wheels. What in the hell is going on here? Uh... Okay. Gita is not amused. And neither am I. <sighs> Here we go again. It would figure when I go to record, that's when this thing acts up. 
I don't know what this thing is doing. It's making two copies of the airship? No wonder this thing is, like, laggy. Alright. I think everything's good, so we're gonna go forward. Look at that. Gita's kind of jumping around on deck there. That's also not good. She's supposed to be stuck in place whenever you're moving. I swear to you guys, this is not how this thing is supposed to normally function. This thing is actually supposed to be pretty smooth. And here we go again. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Alright, well, I know it's going to put me in the center of the deck, so I may as well just stay still and stare at Gita's boobs. Okay, Gita, back to work. Are you kidding me? Sheesh. I'm telling you, it's just my luck. The one time I decide to use this damn thing. Alright, everything's stable. We're looking good, and we're going forward. We will make it past this lake, and then I think it's a pretty sudden drop to the plains area, the tundra area where White Run is, so we're going to lose some altitude once we get over this ridge here. Alright, good deal. Looks like we're cruising now. Only a little bit jumpy. Alright, we are doing great. And there's a drop off. Ugh, oh, not a freaking get. You know what? I'm done with this. I am so done with this. Okay, so we're back, and, uh, yeah, I made it over the ridge, and now we've got to come down in altitude. Uh, White Run is off in the distance, like, you can see it to the right there, and there's that watchtower that you fight that first dragon at. Um, we're gonna try and see if we can make it over that way, because I am not so sure I want to lag all the way to Dawnstar. So, we might just dump this thing off in White Run for now, and then I'll test it out off camera and make sure it still works. Alright, so we're a little... Ugh. I give up. I freaking give up. Seriously? Alright. One more time. And if this stupid thing doesn't work, I'm gonna freaking take the carriage to Dawnstar at this point. Alright, flight setup initialized. Okay, we're good. What the hell was that? Did I just see, like, Gita go from, like, the left side of the screen to the center? Yeah, I don't even want to know. I'm just gonna fly. Uh, yeah, Deva Vesa, greatest thing ever created for Skyrim. Um, when it works. Okay, we're gonna veer to the right of this place, and we're gonna try and park it pretty close to Whiterun, and I'm jittery again. Seriously, you know this thing's gonna crash again. Alright, I'm going to lose some altitude here, because if it crashes again, at least I might be in range for us to disembark the airship. So, like, right here should do the trick. Ha! Sucker, I knew you were going to do that, but I was prepared this time. This is exactly where I wanted to park the airship, so we're good right here. Alright, so, plan B. Let's go downstairs and get Tanya. Tell her we got to go. We're going to leave the airship here. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. That's definitely not how this thing should function. I'm right behind you. Oh, there you are. I've got your back. All right, let's go, Tanya. Let's get going. Okay. Now, are you going to stay in my way or are you going to move? You're going to stay in my way. Fine. Come on, walk. Do something. Or I'll just go behind you. Ugh. It's a good thing I only carried her. Can you imagine if I had all of my companions with me? I'd never be able to make it outside the airship. Okay, so here's how you get off the airship under normal circumstances. You click Activate Ladder. It calculates the elevation, and as long as it is within 1870, I'm assuming that's meters or feet or something, it'll deploy the ladder. So then you click E again, and voila, it drops you to the ground. You don't want to put this airship over, like, a keep or something like that, because it's going to search for hard ground, and it might put you in a wall or something like that. But anyway, the airship could should be safe there. I don't think anybody's going to fuck with it, so we are going to head this away towards White Run. And my plan is this. Take the carriage from White Run to Dawnstar. Don't ask me how in the hell we're going to get back, because I'm pretty sure Dawnstar does not have a carriage driver that will be able to take us back. And, by the way, it's raining. Lovely. It would figure. It would figure. Could have bypassed this whole damn rain if the airship worked, right? Ugh. 
Hey there, guard. Uh huh. Okay, so at least we are relatively close to civilization. I don't think I really need to sell anything just yet, so I'm going to hold on to what I've got in my loot bags for now. Um, but we'll go ahead and get into Whiterun. I'm going to stop over by... Um, what the hell's the name of the house in Whiterun? I forget. Where Lydia is. This is the house that I pretty much gave to Lydia because, like I said, I don't use any of the regular companions. They all stay wherever they are. And why are those... Why are those people running? Hmm. Okay, there's a carriage driver. I'm going to need him on the way back. But I want to stop by the house here real quick and maybe dump off some crap. And hopefully Tanya is still following me. I imagine she is, but, um, yeah. Oh, that is the other thing, too. I did update Whiterun. I may have mentioned it before in one of my earlier videos. So you will get to see what the new Whiterun looks like. And this is one of the mods that I absolutely love. Now, it doesn't show it from the outside because of the way that uh, the files are actually arranged in the game. But once you get inside, you will see the dramatic difference. So here's uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, the guards. And we're going to hop inside and see what it looks like. Ah, that's odd. It didn't pop up anything for that loading screen. Alright. So yeah, here we go. Look at that. More trees. A little bit more beauty. You look tired. And here's the house. The has Breeze home. That's it. Yes. And Tanya is naked because she is switching over her clothes. I trust right. you're not planning any trouble. Um, what hello to you too, me? Lydia. Creeper. This is my house here. Acting I'm like right I don't belong you. here. Tanya, why don't you wait here, please? Yeah, we'll stay here for a while, so you can just stay here, okay? You go on ahead. Appreciate it. You stay here. I need to go around town and... Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Hmm. Remember I had upgraded some of that armor? I'm thinking I want to gift one of the ones that I'm not going to wear. Like the heavy armor, for example. If I remember correctly, Uthgird the Unbroken is around here somewhere. And I love Uthgird. She's like the classic Butterface. Uh, don't even ask me what that means. But yeah, she is over here, so maybe if I can recruit her, I'll give her the armor, and then I will dismiss her, so that way she's got a lovely parting gift. Seems like a pretty solid plan to me. Alright, and what's going on in here? Oh wait, I think I have another quest in here too, that red guard woman. Oh, it's this jackass again. Shameful is what it is. No, you're not the one what I need. Can I do for you? Where is she? There she is. Hey there, Nubian beauty. No, come back here, girl. Come back what here, girl. I want to talk to oh, you. Just to remind Are you sure? All right, the this is the quest. Oh no, they found me. I need your help, please. Come with uh -huh. me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. Okay. So where are you taking me, lady? Taking me out back. All right. Nice kitchen. Damn, they got some wicked looking food up there. That is awesome. Ooh, we're going upstairs. All right. Never been with a dark girl before. All right. Oh, snap. You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. Uh, why you got to pull a knife on me? I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? Um, what did they offer you? Yeah, they Gold? just asked me to find you. How many more of them are coming? That's probably tell what me. I'm going to go with, yeah. They just you asked me to find you. Please, I need your help, and there isn't anyone I can trust here in the city. Mm-hmm. Maybe, if there's money in it. There will be. Of that, you can be assured. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. Hmm. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. Okay, and how am I supposed to do that? 
They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. Lady, you are on crack. How do I find I them? I one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Uh-huh. Okay, well, why are they after you anyway? I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. I'm not sure I trust you. And you haven't gone to the you guards. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless. Cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. Mm. I can't trust anyone here in White Run. Guards and yarls can be bought. Uh huh. And the Alakir are close. So I'm all of a time, sudden, so all of a sudden, you trust me. Uh huh. This lady. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. This lady is shady as hell. Shady as hell. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with her yet. I may just rat her out. Okay, I'm gonna go back downstairs. Um, because I really came in here to talk to Uthgird. See if I can recruit Uthgird. Give her that gift. And then send her on her merry way. Because you know what? Uthgird does not get enough love in this game. Sure, she's got a face that, you know, only an Uthgird's mother could love. But I mean, come on. She is an awesome fighter. And I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna fist fight with her. Hello, Uthgird. You want to hear a little Nord wisdom? You don't really know a woman till you've had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. You don't say. Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. Well, you think you can and take me on? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Just fist. Let's do it. No weapons, no magic. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Come on. Fists only. Yes. Okay, I got this. I got this. Oh yes. Uh, oh, I got. This. What the? No, 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 no. You cheating bitch. Oh no, 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 no. All right. You know what? I'm gonna play this thing fair because I've got one thing that I know that Uthgard does not have, and that's healing potions. And I will use these suckers. All right. Come on. Come get it. Come get it. It's you and your sword, you cheater. And me, and my food and healing potions. Actually, no, let me use the healing potions. There we go. Potion of healing. Alright, bring it! Oh, snap! Uh, yeah, I don't care what you got, Uthgird. You are definitely going down. I have to admit, that's the first time Uthgird has ever done that before, but you know what? She's going down. She's going down like tender vittles. That's right, I'm just going to pummel your face now. I was going to give you a gift. To think I was going to give you a gift. Crazy bitch. Oh no, 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 no. Of course she is managing to take me down. Why? Because she's got a freaking great sword. Uh-uh. No, it, it's not happening. It is not happening like that. I will stand here and pummel the crap out of you if it takes me every health potion I've got. All she's doing is blocking, too. What the hell, man? Alright, let me see if I can goad her into coming after me. Come on! That's right. Swing. Swing. Hey, you're giving me better armor. You know what? I'll take it. I will take it. As I bust your face up. You think your face is ugly now? You wait till I'm done with you. You think I'm afraid of you? I can't believe this crap. How in the hell? <laughs> that is clearly a glitch. And you know what? I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm not even gonna fix it. I was gonna give you armor, but now mm -mm, you ain't getting shit, lady. You are going down. And I should probably heal while I'm at it too. Um yeah, give me a second here. Uh, I'm running out of heals. Uh, we use more of these. Okay, well that ta that does it for the regular heals, so we've got minor heals that I can use now. Alright, Uthgird, keep cowering in that corner there. Yeah, you are going down, baby. You are going down. I will have you submitting to me. I love how her blood is like splattering on the wall, too. Poor Uthgird. Yeah, I need some more stamina, too. Uh, we'll do some of these. 
Okay, now I'm gonna hit you with my super falcon punch. Oh! Oh! Alright, well, if everything goes according to plan, she should submit relatively soon anyway, so I'm just gonna keep whacking the crap out of her. Yeah, you can keep slashing. It's not gonna do you any good, Uthgird. You have no idea who the hell you're up against today. You are up against Gita freaking Shrike. And she don't back down. Even when she's running out of life. Which I should probably fix right now. There we go. Okay. Like I said, Gita freaking Shrike. And I ain't taking no for an answer, baby. Come on. Give up. Ah, uh, uh, I got you. I got you. Now, can we be friends now? Can we be friends now? This is an old decision. Oh no, you didn't, you crazy bitch. Okay, that's it. No. Mm -mm. Can we be friends now? If I can just stand up. Skyrim oh no, she didn't. Oh, uh, alright, you know what? I am so done with you, Uthgird. I am so done with you. This is an old decision. If you attack me one more time, I'm killing you. Uh huh. This is your last this is warning. Back the fuck down. Oh no. Alright. Don't say I didn't warn you. Do not say I did not warn you. This is what you get when you mess with one of the Shrike sisters. You get your ass handed to you. Oh! And a wrestling move at that. <laughs> I love it. Oh, she dead. I say you, she dead. Nothing to see here, folks. Return Nothing to see, unless you want a piece of this. What was she drinking over Day. here, anyway? I don't even know. Well, I'll take your money, though. And I'll take your ring and your key, because I'm going to loot your house later. And your wine. Ooh, wine! Uh, yeah, that's nothing. I'll clean that up afterwards, lady. Let's go about your business. Me, I'm going to sit right here. Because you know what? I've had a rather eventful day, and I think I'm just about done. So I'm going to listen to this dude sing here. And I am going to call this episode done. So, we unexpectedly killed Uthgird the Unbroken. The killer of kings. Yep. On the day of that your was a death, thing. we will drink and we'll sing. Alrighty, folks. Ciao. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies.